so that's the drawing three paper cups composition All right so set up the composition do the line study piece first get that composition down you got a horizon line like if it's on a box pay attention to that back edge as to where they're located right so when a, a lip comes towards you make it wider up front that's going to show that it's expanding and closer and then compress it as it goes back and away that creates a structure of foreshortening all right same thing about this point here when you're looking into the cup that back compresses down even though it's a tall cup so you get that structure of foreshortening so draw through the forms as concentric rings elliptical shapes or circles depending on what that composition is and build a drawing from there. And just pay attention to the move in a light and shadow, working around the curve. So there you go. All right, take care, have a good night. Thank you. Okay, so I just want to take a moment and talk about this drawing a little bit further. So this is a composition of three paper cups, and you can get the paper cups at any store, any grocery store they sell those, which is fine. All right, let's pick those up. And I like white because it just helps you with that structure of light and shadow a little bit better, a little bit cleaner way of seeing it. So I laid out the composition. I want one cup standing up, one cup going away from you, and then I want one cup coming towards you, lying down, all right? So I laid out the uh, <clears throat> elliptical shapes, compositions, and the circles. And then I went back into it once I had established that. So with this one here, these two lines are parallel, even though they're on different elevations. And your vertical line here and your vertical line here are also parallel. So if you were to come back this way off of here, and then this way here, and then come back off of here to this point, right? You're creating that conical or trapezoidal shape based upon that element, which can help you, okay? So at least you know the structure direction of that plane here and this plane here. And then so on center, where that comes down. So this would probably come down to here a little bit more this way. And then if we came into here, so if you're looking at that, circular form right there, that gets you in. You see what I'm getting at right here? So on center, if you look at that, so those center points, so that's curve of that circle it's tangent to that point here, comes down and comes up. So you're drawing through the form. And then the same thing here, you do that, it hits tangent here and here, and then you're drawing through the form like so. So now that's in proper perspective. So I will help you, that's like a guideline. So here with this cup, it's going back one point perspective. This one's two point. So if you make that trapezoidal shape here, 
So it's tapering going back. So you have like a projecting plane moving back into space and that's on center. Then you can establish this here. And then the same thing down below. Right. And then you have your tapered side. So you're just approximating the size, the elevation of the top circle to the bottom circle. And then this one here, this is more of a square. So this coming directly at you. And then the back one is also a square. So you got to pay attention to this back curve because you're seeing it dropping down into here and then coming up. So if you make that curve continuous all the way through and then come up with those side tapered pieces here, you're going to create that conical shape of that form lying down, dealing with foreshortening and grabbing the compression of that form at the same time. All right, I'm going to get back to the drawing. Thank you.